This is calculator question number eight from the April 2019 SAT. College Board describes a survey in a city with 120,000 people in which 60% of those surveyed support eliminating overnight parking with a margin of error of 2%. And the question is, which of the following is a plausible con conclusion based on the survey? Choice A is exactly 60% of city residents approve of eliminating overnight overnight parking. You should always be skeptical of any exact answer with surveys and the only way to have the exact number is to have a census where everyone is surveyed and to believe that people are answering honestly. So choice A would not be correct. You expect some random error in a survey and B is equivalent to A. If exactly 60% of residents approve, and there are 120,000 residents, that's 72,000 residents who approve, so B would also be wrong. Choice C takes the 2% margin of error and says that means about 2% of city residents do not approve of eliminating overnight parking, but that's not what margin of error means. So C would be wrong. I'm hoping that D will be correct. Since the survey said about 60% approve with a margin of error of 2%, that means it's likely that between 60% minus 2% and 60% above plus 2%, which would be 60 minus 2 would be 58, and 60 plus 2 would be 62. So it's likely that between 58% and 62% of those surveyed approve of eliminating overnight parking. To be more precise, College Board normally assumes a 95% confidence interval or margin of error based on 95% confidence. So if you took a large number of surveys on this question, in 95% of those surveys, the true proportion would be within your margin of error of the proportion in your survey. And that's, that is plausibly compatible with between 58% and 62% approve. It's not exactly the same you can't conclude with certainty that between 58% and 62% approve of eliminating overnight parking because about 5% the true proportion, 5% of the time the true proportion will be outside your margin of error from the sample proportion. But it is a plausible conclusion. College Board is likely to ask about margin of error, so it's important to read up on this and review practice questions from previous exams that address margin of error. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.